Hi everybody, it's Mickey. Today is Friday, September 14th, and I have a bit of a show and tell vlog for you today. There's going to be a grocery haul, a Target run, a banana bread recipe, and a handbag subscription unboxing. Since I will be doing mostly errands today, I am just wearing a simple white t-shirt and khaki jeans, both from Target, a very old denim jacket that I have had forever, and my favorite blue Lauren Conrad flats from Kohl's. So I thought I would share with you this really small um, grocery haul I have. I think I'm starting to prepare for this hurricane that is supposed to hit us at the end of the week. So I have some essentials. I have um, my sparkling water and my blueberry juice drink. I mix those together. Um, if you guys have been watching, I've been trying to stay away from soda and these two guys mixed together over ice is really doing the trick. I have a couple um, containers of ground turkey. I'm gonna be making some sloppy joes um, for the freezer. Even though I have some freezer meals in there, I want things that I can do quickly on the stove because I am sure we are going to be losing power. I have um, just a half gallon of milk. I have um, some bread and rolls and eggs, you know, the essentials of life during a storm. I have some Velveeta slices for some grilled cheese, uh, a couple bag salads, I have some butter, maybe before everything hits I'll bake some cookies. I have some green and red peppers and oh darn it, I thought I got bison but it looks like I got regular beef so I'll keep this in the fridge in case we need to make hamburgers. So this is my little grocery haul for now. You know when these hurricanes and things like that hit I get myself all <laughs> worked up because I really hate to lose power and now that the kids are on three different campuses, it really kind of freaks me out. So cooking and baking calms my nerves. So I guess I'll be doing a bit of that in the next couple days. I don't know why the Target dollar spot is so empty. Have I missed all the Halloween stuff? So I just made it in from Target right before it rains. This rain isn't even, you know, Hurricane Florence rain. It's like the pre-rain, I guess. Um, I think by the time this is all over with, we are going to be like super soaked. But anyway, I wanted to run up to Target because they were starting to put out the um, Halloween dollar spot stuff uh, the last time I was in there and I didn't want to wait, you know, and miss out on all the good stuff. So. Um, I have a whole bunch of bags. This is just a few of the bags. I have some more in the dining room. So anyway, I went to two Targets today because the first one that I thought was just going to have everything literally had nothing. <laughs> I have some clips of that. I either put it you know, before this part or I'll stick it in somewhere here and I kind of panicked because if you guys have been with me a while, you know that I like to send holiday boxes um, to all the little college kids in my life and Halloween is the first one that I send and I really get a lot of stuff from the Target dollar spot, but not to worry, I went to our second one and they were well stocked. So let me show you some of the things that I have. I'm not gonna show you everything because I think I'm going to do a Halloween, um, a Halloween haul and if that's something you guys would like to see just leave me a comment in the information section down below and let me know so first off I always like to send them something that they can make and eat and I found Funfetti cupcake or cake mix and I just think this is so fun and I have the um, the Funfetti frosting with the sprinkles and I found some really cute cupcake liners for them. I just think this is really sweet. Funfetti always makes me think of our friend Millie. <laughs> and then I found these really, really cute lights. I thought these were great. They're like little mason jars and they have spiders in them. And I thought they would be really cute, you know, strung up in their dorm rooms to decorate. Um, I also found some little tea towels. I guess they can use them, you know, for whatever they want to use them for, but I thought they were all so cute. They came in a set of two. I also found some really cozy socks for the little girls on my list. Um, I've got a bunch of these. They had a couple different um, styles, but I got them all the same, and I thought these would be really great to include. 
And then I found um, this little guy back here, little Frankenstein. I just love little Frankenstein. I always like to find something like this, fill it with candy and um, cover it all in cellophane. And it's something that they can keep, you know, from year to year. So I found Frankie. And over here I found a cute little pumpkin. So I am relieved and happy with everything that I found at Target today. So I'm gonna put this all away and maybe we'll get to making dinner. So I'll check back with you in just a minute. So it's getting to be about that time to get in the kitchen and get something cooking. And I have been looking at these three ripe bananas for the last couple days. And I decided I wanna make some banana bread with them. So I went out and I got my um, favorite banana bread recipe, which is in this cookbook by Paula Dean. It's the, um, the Lady and Sons 2. We picked it up years ago when we were in Savannah and it's signed by her, which is so great. So. The recipe that I like is, I think it's 137 in here. There we go. You can always tell when I use a recipe because there's stuff splattered all over it. But this is my favorite one, so I will, I'll include it in the information section down below. But it's perfect, it makes a really nice sized loaf and you just need three ripe bananas. So I just have to get out my pan so you can come with me. And I keep a lot of my dishes and things that I don't use all the time in this cabinet in my living room. I'm pretty sure that I have shared this cabinet um, in a video before, but I just keep like my holiday serving pieces in here. Those things that I don't use every day, like my larger casserole plates and things like that. So over here I have my um, Ray Dunn loaf pans and these are the ones that I use, um, you know, to bake uh, pumpkin bread and banana bread. So I got all my ingredients all together. This is what I always do when I bake anything. I go through the recipe and I gather all my ingredients and I, you know, I measure out my sugar and my flour and everything. And I follow this recipe exactly except that I add a teaspoon of cinnamon because I think cinnamon makes everything taste better. It's one of my favorite spices. And this recipe is really easy to whip up because you don't need to get out your hand mixer. You can just mix it all up by hand with a wooden spoon in a bowl. So I'm gonna stick you guys on the tripod and we can bake. just taken the loaf out of the oven and the recipe called for it to bake for about 50 minutes. I ended up baking it closer to an hour. And what I do sometimes on these really big loaves um, where the middle takes a little bit longer to cook than the edges, I just halfway through put a little bit of tin foil on each side so that the corners don't get burned and it allows the middle to you know, take its time and do all the baking that it needs. So, I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes and then I'm gonna transfer it over to the wire rack and then it'll be open season. <laughs> and it probably won't last um, till the end of the night. So while I was out, I stopped by my P.O. Box and I was contacted by this company by the name of Bolzano. Now, Bolzano is a purse and accessory company. They have a website online where they carry all sorts of handbags, all sizes and colors. So they contacted me and asked if they could send me out a sample of what they include in their monthly subscription. I believe um, the accessory and handbag subscription is $33.95 
per month and you get a handbag and a couple different accessories. And they've also included for my subscribers a promo code. Should you um, go online and make a purchase, you will receive a free gift when you use the promo code bashful gifts and I will put all this information in the information bar below. So first off I was really happy to see that they included um, a dust bag with the subscription service which it's always great to have one because you know I, I change out my bags probably once a month and it's really great to have something to store them in. So this looks like a little brochure that they tell you about the company and um, their bags and accessory line that they have. So let me pull this out of the bag. So I put you guys up on the tripod so you can get a better look at the bag. Now this is the one that they sent me, which is really a beautiful color, brown vegan leather. I like the clasp here. I think it's really different the way that it, you can open and close it. It's a really pretty brush gold color and you just seem to squeeze them and they release. On the inside, I'm glad that it has a, um, a zipper for the opening because I just think it's really so much better with a zipper. It's just a little bit more secure. So on the inside, it opens up nice and wide. It has some organizational pockets. It has a zipper compartment here on this side. And let's see. And it has a really long, a really long change strap. I guess it's for if you wanted to wear this crossbody. Honestly, I probably will be taking this off. It is removable and just carry the bag by these straps. So inside here they have an, also another little smaller bag for the accessories that they send along with it. And it looks like they are that same gold tone. I have two different accessories here. One is a bracelet and one looks to be I would like a really long necklace. So, so here is a close-up of the bracelet. I really think it's very cute. It has a heart and the necklace has an XO on it, so it's hugs and kisses. It has a cute little theme going. And I love the fact that it is adjustable so that it will fit all different size wrists. And so here's a bit of the detail of the little necklace that came along with it with the X and the O, some hugs and kisses. It's really a cute little necklace with an adjustable clasp to make it a little bit shorter or longer. So I think this is a pretty good value for $33.95. You can get a nice size bag and a couple pieces of fashion jewelry. So if you want to check this out, again, there's a promo code for a free gift with purchase. And I will put all the information and their website in the information bar below. So thank you so much for watching today. Be sure to check out the information section down below for recipes and promo codes. For those of you who are in the path of Hurricane Florence, God bless and stay safe. And until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. And I will see you again soon. Bye.